Welcome to Tony and Dee's Kitchen. My name is Dee. Just want to welcome you all to our kitchen. Um, this will be a video featuring my vegan chili. Um, to give you a little bit of a background on the chili and, and what we're doing here at Tony and Dee's Kitchen is that we went vegan uh, this year and many of the dishes that I fixed for 20 years I'm having to redo those recipes and redo some dishes that I've made in the past with me without me. So this is going to be a vegan chili. I saw a vegan chili on Mama Rosa's channel, so hey Mama Rosa. Um, this is going to be my interpretation of a vegan chili, so hope you enjoy. Okay, we're going to go right into it and we're going to start with our seasoning blends and we're going to go into the vegetables that we're going to use for the chili. Okay? First, we're going to have Old Bay. And we're going to have a teaspoon of Old Bay. Next, we're going to go with a salt that I get from Central Market. It's called Saltworks Durango Hickory Smoked Sea Salt. And I get this from Central Market, and it's also going to be one teaspoon. Next, we're going to do uh, garlic powder. And it's be one teaspoon of garlic powder that I get from Kroger. Next, we're going to have uh, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning that I also get from Kroger. I use a smoked paprika from Trader Joe's, and it'll be one teaspoon. This is a quick chili mix that I pick up from Kroger, and we're going to use three tablespoons of this quick chili mix. Next, we're going to use the garden veggie cubes. We're going to use one cube for this chili. And I use one-fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You can use more or you can use less or you don't have to put it in at all. It just depends on your preference. Okay. We also will have one can of Simple Truth tomato sauce. And you can get Simple Truth from Kroger. One can of the fire roasted um, diced tomatoes. And we get it from Simple Truth, we get it from Kroger also. And I like the fire roast because it has a little bit of a smoke flavor to it. It's really good. One bell pepper chopped. One white or yellow onion chopped. Four stalks of celery chopped. And I like to put in four cloves of garlic. I like using the premium garlic. It's just garlic, but it's already peeled. So I use the premium peeled garlic from Kroger. Because it helps with tang. And have it chopped. I use the 16 bean blend. You can get a bag of it from Kroger. Um, I think it's some other stores that carry the different bean blends. We like the 16 bean. I let it uh, soak overnight in water and I just drained it and I'm going to put this in along with everything that I just showed you. Okay, so now we're going to put our ingredients into our crock pot. I turned it on high because I pre-soaked my beans and so they're not going to take as long to cook it as they normally would if I didn't soak them. Okay, so we're going to start putting um, the bouillon cube in first because I want to start dissolving and I'm going to start putting my seasonings in after that. Okay. Okay. We're going to put in one teaspoon of Old Bay. One teaspoon of smoked salt. One teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of the Italian uh, seasoning. One 
one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Three tablespoons of chili powder, the quick chili mix. Three, te uh, three ta tablespoons. One fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm gonna put in my one uh, chopped onion. And I'm gonna kind of just stir everything around as I get it in the pot. I'm putting my seasonings first, and then I'll put my beans in, and then I'll put my uh, liquid, my uh, tomato mixture, and my water, okay? Here's my one bell pepper. And one celery. Sorry, my uh, four stalks of celery. Why do I put celery? Because celery naturally has a salt content to it. So if you're salt conscious like I am, I don't use a lot of just regular salt or a lot of salty products. I use more uh, natural foods to derive my salt and get the flavor I want. And we're gonna do the four cloves of chopped garlic. Be careful because the crock pot's gonna be hot, so. Mix in my chopped vegetables and my seasonings. Now I'm going to add my beans. As I said before, I like to blend everything in before I add my beans. And so now that I have my seasonings and my vegetables in there, I'm going to put the beans in and my tomato mixture. As I said earlier, I have already soaked my beans in water and I've drained the water. Soaking them helps them to cook quicker. So we're looking at maybe a four to five hour cook time. I have my crock pot on high. I like to blend everything in before I add my liquid. And so now I'm going to add my tomato sauce. And my fire roasted tomatoes. I'm going to give it another stir. Like I said before, be careful because your crock pot is on. It's going to be a little hot, so it will be hot. Now, with the water, I only want to add enough water to cover the beans. So this is a larger crock pot that I've no than I've normally used in the past, so um, I'm going to just add the water in slowly, two cups at a time. I may be able to get uh, a good six cups in, but we're going to just start pouring it and we only want to cover the top of the beans. If you're doing a soup, then you'll want to put more water, but I'm, I want it to be a chili, so I only want it to cover the top of the beans. I need to put just a little bit more, so that was two. about two and a half about yeah that's about three about three cups of water I'm gonna come back within about three to four hours see how well it's cooking if it's ready then I will turn it on um, low for about another 30 to thicken up the juice but I believe that it's gonna be ready in about 45 hours hi guys okay I'm back I checked the beans after four hours the beans were still uh, a little firm. They weren't tender enough. 
so I waited an additional hour so total cooking time has been five hours I'm gonna raise the lid and I'm gonna stir it and I'll taste the beans again and see if it's uh, tender enough and if it's tender enough then I'll turn off my cooker and the beans will be done this is a brand new uh, crock pot I just used it today my baby bought it for me I never used it before so I wasn't sure about the cook time but this cooks very well look like the beans are done after five hours I'm gonna taste them and see it looks really good they look tender I'm gonna taste it and Guys, these beans are done. They are done. So I'm going to put them in a bowl. Have my baby taste them. I love this 16 bean mix. Man, it is so good. And everything, the tomatoes, the bell peppers, the onions, everything tastes so nice. It has a little heat, but not a lot. Man, this soup is ready. Like I said before, I'm going to spoon some of this out. And I'm going to let Anthony taste it. Get him another spoon here. It is really good. The flavor is really on. It's, like I said before, it's, it's got a little heat, but it's not real hot. The beans are tender. It's just really good. All right, babe. You gonna let me taste? I'm gonna let you taste it. Oh, well, y'all, y'all show. Look, look, look. See show, man. Come on, man. Look, look, look at that. She, ain't, she ain't show none of that. Look, look, look at that. Oh man, I can't hardly get this bowl up in here. But that right there, look at there, man. Y'all see that? Y'all get that? Y'all, it's coming to fall off the spoon. I gotta go eat. I gotta eat. I gotta taste. Right. I gotta taste. How y'all doing? America's America's how y'all doing? What's up, love? Well, I'm I'm glad he's enjoying it. It's really good to me. Um, oh man! I always say to mm. new cooks, don't get intimidated, don't get nervous or frustrated. Take it one meal at a time, one dish at a time. Everybody has to start somewhere. Um, I'm constantly learning Listen, every man. day. This is a new dish that I've learned, uh, I guess, within the last six months. We are really enjoying this. This is good for when it's cold or even when it's hot. Just whenever you want chili. You can have it with crackers. You can, I mean, if you want it to be more of a soup, then you'll add more water. But like I said before, this took five hours. And it only took this like is. three cups of water. That was it. And yeah. just let it go. Let I it thought go, it was baby. gonna be done after four, but just let it, go. It, let it go. Let it go. No, drop, I didn't baby. drop it. Let it go. So you talking about let it go? Let it I'm go. hoping this video has been a blessing to you. Mm. Um, this is good. Like though. my husband said that uh, if it's God, I've had, had this before. It's it's real good. Mm -hmm. See, see, see this right here. What I'm gonna do with this? This is gonna be for lunch tomorrow, and yeah. work. Go to work tomorrow. Packing this up for lunch, I'm gonna just love it. You know, yeah. I enjoy. So, and one thing about uh, doing this uh, healthy way of eating, I ain't got to go out and eat, spend all this money on this junk food. These people ain't gonna prepare right. The people got this food process and all this kind of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. And mm, man, it's good. But um, save your money because you don't have to go out and eat and get all that junk food. Cause you're actually saving money yeah. when you do cook at home. Just understand that the information we share on our sites is to be helpful. It's to yes. help you, yes. to help you grow, to help you make better decisions, um, to help you understand uh, food just a little bit better yes. so that you can understand how it can be a little bit more healthier for your body. I'm grateful uh, that people share with me and help me, you know, and I just return the favor by paying it yes. forward. So that's what Tony and Dee's kitchen is doing. We're just paying, paying it forward, forward. baby. That's all we're doing. Yes. So we love y'all yes. and we thank God for you. Yes. And if nobody has told you this today, we love you and God loves you too. Tony and Dee's kitchen. We signing off. 
and good night to all and to all a good night.